Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I know, it's been a little while, and what can I say, life just sort of happens. Anyway, I'm back, we're back, and stoked to get all back into this car stuff. And today we got ourselves a pretty interesting concept from an anonymous source over there across the pond in the land of pretzels and handsome gentlemen with an appetite for freakishly large crab dinners. That's a long story. What's up, motorheads, and welcome back to Gearbox Pizza. We're back, and we're gonna be waxing poetic for a little bit about our beloved electric land-loving tugboat of an EV. Yep, you guessed it, that's canoe. So it's no secret that it's been a bit of a bumpy ride, and pardon the pun, it's not a jab at their suspension, but rather a reflection of their balance sheet, yep. So apparently it's pretty hard to build an all new electric car company from the ground up and like many are gonna fail, you're gonna succeed and if you're watching this right now, I'm willing to bet you're in the camp that actually like to see these guys make it happen. And who knows, maybe one of these is gonna find their way in your garage in the future. Anyway, so a bit ago we took a peek at what it might look like if Apple was actually interested in swooping in and swallowing canoe whole like a sperm whale sucking down some plankton or I don't know, whatever it is they actually eat. So yeah, like it seemed like an interesting idea and I'll admit the lifestyle vehicle already sort of looks like an Apple product. So match made in heaven, right? Well, not so fast there, my Android buddies. You see, it's been reported that Apple is much more interested in a brain drain sort of thing where they you know, kind of acquire all the mega talented kids that can do and just sort of just toss aside all the work that's been done. So boo, yeah, don't like that. So today there's potentially a much more interesting suitor and they come to us from Britain, well, Britain through Germany, I guess. And that's Mini. Now, initially this might sound sort of like a bizarre idea, but there's some pudding behind this concept and I'll tell you why. Well, so, so I'll admit, I sort of totally missed this crazy concept vehicle that Mini rolled back way back in 2020. This fella right here, well, this is a Vision Urbanaut concept and yep, you're probably thinking what I'm thinking. So originally this fellow was just going to be a digital design study, but apparently there was enough interest where a year later, Mini actually built one. So that's cool. Like these design study concepts are one thing, but to go through all the trouble and there's plenty to actually build one, well, that bodes well for the idea. Anyhow, so according to this media report, Mini may be looking for a quote unquote technical basis and production site. Why? Well, Mini and parent company BMW, while well, they don't really have a suitable platform on which the Urbanaut could be built, and developing a brand new platform for an unproven vehicle like this would just cost way, 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 way too much. I mean, remember the i3? Yeah, look, I, I don't think BMW is looking to repeat that whole sidestep. So this pairing actually does make some sense as there's already some familiarity between Canoe and BMW. I mean, after all, Ulrich Kranz was at one point the top dog for BMW's iBrand and he just happens to have been the CEO of Canoe in the early days. And we've got so, sort of some conflicting uh, reports here. Look, although it's been reported that Kranz's departure from Canoe and some changes on the brand management side of Mini, that I'll quote, the project has stalled, end quote. But it's also been reported, and I'm gonna do this quote thing again. If the numbers are right, the operating systems are compatible and the quality does not cause any problems, well, the American-made Mini should definitely have a chance in the Munich boardroom. Anyway, I wouldn't exactly call this likely. But there's a real chance here and I think it does make some sense. To me though, and let's speculate just a little bit here, how would this all work out? So the Urbanaut is a good chunk smaller than Canoe's lifestyle vehicle and I think the demographic might just be different enough to have room for two smallish vans in the lineup. I mean, just take a look at how many different flavors of Mini are being produced right now. And if the engineers can figure out how to effectively squeeze two different size footprints from this one platform, well, why not? Again, and just doing some serious speculating here, I don't think the Canoe brand itself would survive. You know, because the lifestyle vehicle would essentially become the largest Mini in the lineup, which is a bit of a shame as personally, I sort of come to love the brand. And I bet you kind of do too. But Mini's just a household name. It's a solid, fun brand that people already dig and most people know about. And it's just, you know, sort of that budget BMW sort of thing, which is not a bad thing. Now, there is a very serious question about styling though, as every single Mini shares some significant design elements. And it's no accident that all Minis look very similar. And how would this translate over to Canoe? 
Yeah, I have no idea. And as I try to mash them up in my head, like the results aren't pretty, but I do think it's a solvable problem, but the designers at Mini would definitely have the work cut out for them. Okay, so just humor me for a second as I'm gonna do a little bit of daydreaming here. So the canoe pickup is sort of the coolest freaking thing I've ever seen, right? And look, I just love this thing. Now, how about a mini truck to go alongside the Urbanaut? I mean, look, Ford has just recently proved that with the Maverick, there's a serious market for small city pickups. Now, just imagine an all electric Mini Cooper tiny pickup truck. Now, something like this might not do great in every market, but here in the States, we cannot get enough pickup. I don't know. I think this sounds pretty cool. All right, so bottom line, well, as interesting as the Mini and Canoe pairing might be, would I call it likely? No, not really, but it's most definitely possible and it's at the very least being discussed among the upper brass in Munich, so, I mean, who knows? Look, also, Canoe is looking down a rough road right now, but good things are happening and it's not impossible for them just to make it on their own. But yeah, big picture wise, Canoe and Mini does just sort of make sense from a branding perspective. I mean, you can see how well they would work together. <laughs>